What's going on guys? Captain Richard Hajeki. Uh, we are sitting on the Tierra. So um, a week ago I had uh, my clients Paul and Tom from Albany up. They own a machine shop. So I had them build me a new dash plate for the Tierra. So when we bought the Tierra it came with a hodgepodge of electronics. I believe uh, there's a video out there showing what came with the Tierra. So um, our plan was to put a complete electronics package in this boat um, with electronics we are used to using, comfortable with using, and that work well for us. We've been uh, fans of the Hummerbird product for going on 15 plus years now. On the Trojan, uh, the last few seasons we ran the Solix series um, and we're very happy with that. We, we like the adjustability, we like um, the resolution, and we know how to tweak those very well to uh, to show us what we want to see below the boat. So um, when we went and looked at this tier for the first time, we noticed we had quite a bit of uh, real estate for electronics, which was kind of exciting since that's what I do on my day-to-day -day job is sell marine electronics. <clears throat> so that's kind of what was going through my head uh, when the buying process started is, man, we can make this thing look really cool. So we'll fast forward back to present time yesterday we were in between jobs at work so i had my installer tim uh lay out and cut the dash panel for the tiara so that's kind of what we're going to get to here in a second uh, and i'll show you some of the stuff we plan on uh we plan on running so i will grab the camera here uh on the trojan we um we were kind of limited with dash space, so we we were uh, we're running two Solixes. We ran a ten and a twelve. Um, on this build, we are going to have um, three Solixes in the dash. So I'll kind of zoom in here. Um, on each corner, we're going to have a twelve-inch Solix, and in the middle, we're going to have our ten-inch Solix. Below the ten-inch Solix, we've got these two five-inch. Uh, multifunctional displays those are gonna run pretty much our autopilot we are going to uh, monitor our fuel flow we're gonna put fuel flow meters in. we had them on the Trojan I really liked them it allows us to see our best fuel mileage when we are cruising up and down the lake heading to tournaments it also allows us to um, account for the uh, the fuel expense when we don't win any money at tournaments so um, so we'll have those two items right there. Again, autopilot, fuel flow meter. This will also control our fusion stereo. And it will uh, eventually, when we install our Lumitac Poco lighting system, we'll be able to digitally control all of our lights from that little 5-inch display. So these are kind of, uh, that's what I guess what they call them, multifunctional displays here. Um, you know, as far as our, our hummingbirds here go, these hummingbirds are going to do most everything that we need them to do out on the water so we're going to have them running our traditional sonar we'll have them running our side and down imaging we're going to have them running our mega live our uh, lake master vx mapping and as well as our uh, hummingbird chirp radar so um, three screens from hummingbird these two smaller multifunctional displays so we've got 12 10 12 we've got uh 12 24 34 and another 10 here so 44 inches of touchscreen on the dash of the boat as far as our speed and temp uh units go we uh we run the moor and the fishhawk i believe the moor is probably going to get put right where our rudder reference is here on the uh center of the tiara here we have a rudder reference on our autopilot already so it's kind of redundant so we're going to get rid of that and put the more right there. Still, still have to figure out where we were going to put the uh, put the fish hawk. Um, and then we've got a cool product here. Let me grab it. So we're in a very power hungry uh, mm. world nowadays. Everyone's got smartphones and a lot of smartphones have wireless charging. So ScanStrut uh, makes these um, charging wireless charging uh, apparatuses. We're gonna have one on either side of the helm here. And basically you slide your phone into it. 
and it will wirelessly charge it. I'm also waiting on another 12 volt um, USB-C charging source. So uh, there will also be a couple of those in here on the helm. That's going to control our uh, our camera. That's going to control our uh, our tablet for our smart troll. Customers can charge their phones with the cables that they bring on board. So um, that's kind of the layout of the dash right now. And uh, it may change a little bit, but we're kind of excited. We're going to have a pretty cool command center here. Um, and we, uh, we're looking forward to being able to fire all this up. What we're not looking forward to is wiring all this up. So that's going to be a chore in and of, in and of itself. So um, stay tuned. We'll have some videos out when we get to the wiring process. We're going to have uh, a Humminbird network on this boat. We're going to have a NEMA 2000 network on this boat. Um, we'll have three Humminbirds in the dash, like I mentioned, but in the back of the boat, we're going to continue on with our dual Humminbird setup as well on the center downrigger. So, uh, like I said, a very power hungry uh, boat, but we're looking forward to having all of this functionality and and access to data all over our boat so it should be fun so stay tuned uh thanks for tuning in again and we will keep you up to date on what's going on with the new build